It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back for another tutorial. We're going to be talking about the Battle of Britain. Okay, you can see it's 1940 in October. Yeah, we've been a bit delayed. Uh, the Battle of Britain didn't begin until July. Um, but that won't affect us that much. One of the things you have to do to Britain is level bomb it by using strategic bombers. Uh, that's very difficult because they've got radar and they've got anti-air as well. So in that case, you end up losing a lot of bombers. You have got to kind of throw a lot of production at them before things can get better. So one of the strategies to begin with is to make lots and lots of refineries. So you've got lots of oil and lots of rubber. To a stage in the game when it's 1938 slash 1939 and you're making, instead of prioritizing refineries, you're making... Uh, uh, instead of prioritizing military factories and making refineries. Uh, also, it's important to make sure those air bases in northern France are maxed out. Prioritizing lots of planes nearest to the UK, which in this case is going to be here. And we're going to put them on air superiority in the south of the UK. It is 1940, so you can go for the latest fire and the latest bomber. But I'm a little bit behind on that one as well. Um, it will make a difference, it will give you that little bit of extra edge, but the truth behind it is when it comes down to it, radar and anti-air guns tend to work very effectively anyway. Move the planes here. Going to get 1,800 planes here. you got to keep a very close eye on how many planes you have per airbase, because what will happen is the AI tends to bomb you from the air. So... What you'll end up doing is you'll end up having too many planes on an airbase and then you'll not actually be able to use them. So we do have a lot of fighters right now. Let's have a look at the priorities from our fighters. So right now I'm prioritizing bombers and fires. And even then I'm still having a few rubber issues. Let's just move that down a moment because we need the, the bombers more than the fighters. And there we go. So as I thought, they are bombers as well. Uh, the bombing is in the Bellalux region here too. It's kind of what I expected, to be honest with you. Anyway, air superiority is here. Uh, we've got limited coverage. Uh, air base is overcrowded. Ooh. And that's probably because they're bombing us. Let's have a look. See if we can find it. I think it's the one here. It now, you could make strategic bombers for this, but the problem is, is I find that one really, really powerful bomber is less effective than three weaker bombers. That's why I prefer tactical. You can see the amount of planes they've got in this region is huge. And we are actually starting to bomb them. So what we're optimally trying to do right here is we're trying to bomb their air bases. What we're trying to do is make all their air bases ineffective. Because I just mentioned before there's an overcrowding bonus. So in that circumstance, what you probably want to do is, as I said, you want to try and make them overcrowd their air bases, which reduces their effectively, effectiveness quite by a large amount. I'm going to spread them out. So there are technically four regions part of the UK. There's uh, Southern, Northern, and Scotland, as well as... Oh, actually, no, there's only three. Well, that actually makes life easier, because the less regions to cover, the more you can cover with your bombers. You can see pretty closely that the air will focus them all in one region here. So we are doing some bombing work. Um, okay, we're having some overcrowding issues again. We're going to have to focus on those repairs. We are trying to work on this one as well, infiltration bombing. We have gone down the operation integrity line. Why? Because it makes uh, tactical bombers more effective. And this one focuses more towards fighters and close air support, which we want our bombers to be more effective. So this reduces visibility of bombers by 50%, so it's likely less likely to be engaged, less likely to be shot down. Yet again, we didn't have that researched in time, uh, but we are working on it anyway. New bombers, we have got a lot of air experience too, so we might as well use it. Um, this is going to give us more agility and speed. This one's a good one because it gives more speed and agility, which gives the ability to dodge fire, but it doesn't affect the overall reliability, which I think is really good. Yeah, we'll go with that. So let's look at the statistics here. So bombers disturbed 100. We are doing some bombing work to them. We are slowly grinding them out. This is, I guess in all respects, this is kind of like how the Baton Britain went down. Uh, I guess it was all based on the grind, and it was a... A firepower first, firepower war, who had the most production wins. And uh, that is how it's equating here. We're not losing many bombers anymore, and we're still doing lots of damage, so it's looking pretty good. I'm trying to get distracted, there's like so many things going on right now. I'm trying to keep up to date on the technology as well, which is a. Uh, bit of a pain because there's so many losing most of our bombers here which is kind of why you'd expect 
Got the new fighter model now, which will give us uh, another slight edge. Okay. So I'm trying to get a, a, some kind of inkling right now if we are getting ahead on them. Let's have a look. Can I make another line of bombers? Let's have a look at the production screen. So we are losing quite a few bombers. I'm not sure that might be just down to the fact that I've over... I've made the air wings bigger than, than I have capacity for. The bombing here is going very, very effective. We're not even getting disturbed, so this area is probably flattened. Scotland, more than likely, is probably not doing too well either. So what we'll do is we'll switch these ones around, because I realise these are all bombers. So the range is probably going to be better. Yeah, the damage here is very high. I imagine they're trying to fight back by do continuous repairs. Oh my goodness, some things to research. Um, okay. There you go, infiltration bombing's done now, so that's going to preserve our bombers a little bit better. Is it infiltration bombing? I'm not saying that right. Infiltration bombing, yeah. I usually have like a really casual glance at what it's called, and I, I feel like sometimes I see it wrong, and I'll keep saying it wrong over and over and over again. Doing so well getting into uh, Norway. I said, for some reason, Romania in this campaign decided to go against us as well. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I don't know. Italy, Greece, Bulgaria, and Japan wants to join our faction. Hmm. What I was hoping to do is get to a certain point where we bomb them so heavily they run out of fighters and we outproduce them. And I think we are slowly but truly moving towards there. We could have worked on radar, but radar only really works on the defensive. Let's have a look. Is there any other areas that are concerned? There's bombers going down here. We have air support in this region, though. Just trying to compare the amount of bombings we're doing in comparison to losses here. We've lost one bomber. It was an accident. Yeah, yeah, this is this is maybe exploiting the AI a little bit, but this gives you the gist of what you're going to do if you were to do this towards a player as well. Um, yeah. This area is completely flattened. I'm not even sure. They, they might be trying to anti-repair us, like playing the same game against the destroyer focus. I imagine if you were the UK in this perspective, what you could do is go for the national continuous focus of repairs. Okay, whereabouts are you? You're right here. Okay, they had about a thousand before now. Now they're down to about 600. You're going to give it a little bit longer just to see how things go. It's kind of interesting to play this out in the game because it's kind of like a simulation of maybe what would happen if it, if Hitler did continue uh, his Battle of Britain scenario. I guess Hitler probably wanted a, a quick victory, uh, but in this case the Battle of Britain was uh, quite a long, drawn-out conflict. Okay, so now what we're going to do is it still looks like there's less than 500 now showing in Britain as such. So maybe we drag this out for another year. We could probably erase their air force completely. Um, let's see what's hitting us. We're mainly getting shot down by anti-air now, not by uh, troops on the ground. If you look, we're actually making more bombs than we're losing now as well. So we have reached a tipping point now where we're... Uh, we're bombing them harder uh, than they can make fighters to replace them. Fighters, on the other hand, we're still losing more than we're gaining. So maybe that's the point. Maybe that's the point when you realize that you've actually reached that point where you're actually defeating them on the ground and the air. When the planes, the fighters and the bombers are being made quicker than, than we're losing. So the, the, the key points with this, just to summarize again, is you're going to need a large production base of uh, rubber and oil. So you can make lots and lots and lots of planes. Um, yeah, and then you can continuously bomb them over and over and over again. I guess all people in the comments are probably going to ask me, Oh, Dave, why don't you just invade them? It's easier and quicker. Yeah, I guess so. You're, you're completely right. I guess this is just a, a historical scenario that I wanted to play out. And I guess it's from my own entertainment as well, not only yours. Um, all right, I think it's time now to... to I, think it's, I think it's pretty... Yeah, look, you can see now they had about 1,000 fighters to begin with. Now down to 300. 
You can see they're slowly but truly losing those planes as well. We had 350. Oh, still losing a few fighters as well. The fighters aren't getting better. Maybe we should have made a, an improved fighter model, maybe. Um, extra engine is a good one. Engine's a good one because it gives it extra agility, which is pretty much defense in the air. Yeah, we've got less than 100. Okay, so the third part of this game now is I'm just going to switch out to England just to see the kind of damage that we've caused to them. So right now, they've reached the stage that they can't repair as fast as what we're damaging them, which is kind of what I expect. Um, their production right now... Actually, one final note as well. Um, making a lot of planes, but they can't make a lot of planes because right now we, they don't have that many factories. We've already destroyed them. One other note as well, I guess you could go for the submarine game as well and start bombing submarines at the Atlantic. Sorry, bombing convoys with your submarines in the Atlantic so you can cause extra damage to their production. I find that it just isn't that effective though because you're only reducing their production by small amounts being the fact that they're not getting as much oil or rubber. I don't know, that's optional. I don't know, maybe if you wanted to go all mid-max, you could go for that one. But there you go, guys. That is it. It is the Battle of Burn. It has officially been won. I guess if you, probably a few people are going to complain this video is too long, which I seem to get every single video now. But I think to, to, to show what I've displayed right now, you, it takes at least maybe a year to 18 months to be successful as I constantly bomb them over and over again. Apart from that, though, guys, that is the end of this. If you enjoyed this, remember to like and subscribe, turn on notifications, and drop us a comment below. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.